again, guys. Good evening and welcome back, Gotham. Metropolis, Emerald City, Xanadu, Babylon to the ISS and the rest of you, especially a big shout out and the thanks to Windmill Productions. Prototypes of the glasses just arrived. Kim, they look awesome. Do not, I repeat, do not etch any more pint glasses till hubby gets back with the new mugs. Live from the Pro Realty Old Town Studios, a Quantum News Network production of Hour 2 of the Scooter McGee Show on 1310 KFKA. Ad.com for the headlines for tomorrow. 92717. That coming off my social media. Facebook forward slash the Scooter McGee Show. Twitter, the symbol at the Scooter McGee. Instagram, I don't know. Um, but for you first 500 that subscribe via video, for example, of tonight's show with our Joe six pack guest, of course, Philip White, if you're one of the first 500 subscribers of my YouTube channel, you get a chance at winning a $200 visa debit card. Old Chicago was totally awesome. They refunded the debit card money. And so I just got a standard debit card so you can spend it on whatever you want. And uh, and I got free lunch. So a chance for you there. Uh, And then again, October, T-shirts. November, sweatshirts. And then again, come December, we have glassware. Later tonight, we'll open up the Greeley West Side Liquor Hotline, but now's the time to get your booze delivered. 970-353-0036. But again, I'm keeping our guest over one more segment because he opened up the door to a few questions that I didn't really get a chance to ask. No, but he agreed to stay. Our guest, of course, tonight, Joe Sixpack. Matt Rivette is in studio. Matt, do you have a pulse? I do. Good. Uh, move the mic closer and pretend you're going to have a conversation with my lawyer so you can interrupt if you want. Thank you. Should I raise my hand or just interrupt? No. Okay. Joe Sixpack was your idea. Da, da, da. Phil. Yes, sir. Tell me about the monologue you're having with yourself when you're going from a steady paycheck to opening your own business with yourself and your wife and back to dumping it in your lap August 1st of 1985. Mm-hmm. Well, I told my wife that, you know, I really thought that that would be the the way for us to be able to move forward. I really enjoyed the doing that and I thought it was a great opportunity and uh I suspect if you asked her she'd say she was silly enough to agree with that. Okay. Um well, Good decision 32 years later, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, there were there were probably a couple of the first few years that were, they were pretty lean. And uh, um, uh, my wife at the time was a, a full-time employee of uh, our wonderful local grocery chain. And uh, um, uh, I think if we hadn't had her... Paycheck. Salary, you know, we'd have, we'd have had a we'd have had a probably a problem. Maybe I wouldn't be here now, but uh, um, uh, but that helped us get past that, and and uh, and there hasn't been any looking back since. Don't look at me. Crazy question. No you, such you, thing. You, you work on every vehicle, domestic import. Yes, pretty much. There are a few things we tend not to work on because. Really, because there just aren't a lot of them in Greeley, and and uh, it wouldn't pay. Edsels, buy, yeah, Edsels, um, uh, Land Rovers. Um, uh, you know, the, there there are certain cars that require some special tooling. If you're going to work on them, you you need different tools. What do you? And, I guess then the better follow up, Matt. What do you specialize in? Well, you know, we specialize. The standard in, elevator pitch, 30 seconds, the, the, you and I in the yep. elevator. Do you know what we Phil, specialize in? what do you specialize in? We specialize in making sure that people's transportation is reliable so they can get where they need to go when they need to get there and not have to worry about it. That's really what we do. And there are a few cars that we probably see more of than others. 
Um, we like, like Luke's. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. We can throw Mav under the bus. It's okay. The, 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 uh, um, uh, I don't know that I'd really honestly say that we have anything that we truly specialize in. Um, uh, we take them as they come. Yeah. I brought up earlier, and again, I didn't mean to brush over it because back when growing up, Minneapolis, St. Paul, yes, Optimus and the Rotary and all of that stuff and uh, intergenerational family, that was just, <clears throat> quote, part of the price of doing business. But in the things that you do outside of your business, volunteer work, etc., whether it be optimist, what are you proudest of? Actually, my outside volunteer work, um, uh, I'm most proud of, of uh, what I've been able to do over the last probably tw 20 years. I've lost track of how long it's been uh, with an optimist program called TriStar Basketball. Tell me about it. Well, TriStar Basketball is the, I tell people it's the punt, pass, and kick of basketball. Okay. Because it's a, th it's a, it's they, the kids have to exhibit three skills: shooting, okay. passing, and dribbling, and it's for kids that are ages eight to thirteen, and in a lot of cases, we'll have kids that do very well, that never become basketball players. In some cases, because they never got tall. Now, forgive me, I've been here ten years. I would like to think that I try and become entrenched in all things live and local. I've never heard of it. Well, it's and if I now this would be a whole different ball game if I had a kid, but parents out there wanting to get their kids involved in that, who would they reach out to to even get a, be a part of that? Actually, in Greeley, we uh, the Optimus Club we run the program in all of the grade schools. We run it in all of the. Oh, so the kids at least have the option because, in theory, all kids go to school. That is correct. Except uh -huh. the ones that I keep yes. running and do all day long. Yes, they do. So we run that. We run that program through the schools. We we uh, run the contest at the schools. That the schools have first and second place winners, and this is an age and gender separated contest. So how long have you been a part of that? Well, like I said, I'm, I really have to guess because I think it's been 20 years. But uh, I run the program in Greeley. I also help run it on the state level because we have a series of contests that end this year. It'll be April. Well, this next year, it'll be April 1st at the Pepsi Center. We'll have our final contest and we'll have the, the, wow. the, the, the winners for the whole state. And that includes kids that come clear up to Denver from from towns in southern Colorado that I can't even, you know, hardly pronounce the name or know where they are that come out of areas around Alamosa, little towns called La Jara, and, and uh, yet they end up coming up to Denver to compete in that contest and, uh, and do very well. For 25-plus years in broadcasting, there, I'm sorry, about 22 and a half, 23, 24 maybe, um, the structure of how we worked for radio stations was what it was. The previous administration changed the rules. We all had to set up. So by definition, I'm a small business owner. There's a company above it that owns the company that owns me, which makes no sense other than that the lawyers get money. <laughs> so my question is very selfish, as I brought up in the last hour, I really want your opinion on this. The industry is saying by 2020, location, location, location from the 20th century doesn't matter. That it's internet presence, domain, etc. of how to be followed. Likes, dislikes, positive reviews, negative reviews, etc. And yet you're still going to have that loyalty base. As I was saying off air, okay. These are the people, uh, we, we all know them. I'm in, we agree I'm in good hands. Yes. Otherwise, I'd be in your hands because there are a lot of people out there who have no clue what they're doing. That is correct. And my follow up to that is how do you stay ahead of a curve? That admittedly, you and I both are past the mind's outside charging, but you know what I mean? 
this we're past that world. Yeah. And yet it's a world we do have to live in and navigate. You do well with it. Mm -hmm. But how do you keep up with it? Or is it something you love doing and that's part of what keeps you young and keep working, keep learning? Well, the, the, you know, the, 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 the marketing end of my business, the finding ways to make sure that I'm in front of people so yep. they know they know I exist and can help them with their problems. Um, uh, that's a, I enjoy that. That's a, cha that's a challenge to me. Because uh, here's my selfish question. I'm a small business owner. Now, yeah, I've been here at KFK 10 years. I can show you my phone log today with Damon, seven minutes on the phone. We agreed I'm here through 2020 unless I say on the air or punch you in the nose. Okay? He mm -hmm. doesn't want to have to deal with me. Okay? You've been here an hour. You don't want to have to deal with me either. <laughs> um, but as a small business owner, I don't plan on going away. I hope I don't. But what advice would you – is partake the right word? Or, I'm sorry – impart on me as a small business owner starting out again i think hey getting my logo out there getting my name out there social this da, da, da. okay all of that's great but at the end of the day does it bring money in no gets your name out there well that's what i'm supposed to do but a business is still a business a hobby costs money a business is supposed to make money and so for me as a young, new, not a young, old guy, but a new business owner, what advice would you give me? Continue to put yourself in places where people will see you. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean visually see you. Um, uh, it means recognize, put yourself in places where they'll recognize who you are and give and really give back more than you think you take because it leaves a uh, um, it leaves a vacuum. A long time ago, somebody, and I really don't remember who told me, but they said nature abhors a vacuum. It'll fill it up with something. And if you create a vacuum by pushing out more than you have coming back, yes, the world will backfill that. And that's what I've found in my life. And I said, I, I can't tell you what person told me that, but it was probably the most valuable thing that, that I've ever heard was that, you know, it, it makes sense to, to, to give a little more than you're comfortable with in helping someone, in doing something for someone else, because it, it, it just improves your brand as someone who cares about the world. And uh, you continue to put that in front of people and... Uh, Pretty soon they will recognize you and want to be part of that. And that's how you build your business. F Phil, and I had to chase you down a couple of times because you're, you're very busy. But the thing I came away with in your business was just the epitome of the golden rule. When I walked in, I was somebody. The shop was clean. Uh, even had cookies, thank you, coffee. <laughs> and uh, it was obvious to me it was a very professional uh, run operation and, and 32 years later you're you're doing great yep so we try to try to pay attention to the details and that makes it that makes a big difference sweat the small stuff yes was that sarcastic or you meant that no no, no i no, I, yeah. I meant that sweat the small stuff you've never heard that expression no one wow okay you have yeah, yeah. i have details 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 that I've heard, yes. Okay. Yeah. I just never heard heard it put as sweat the small stuff. But no sarcasm meant. It's, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, Philip, again, we'd promised originally just nine to ten. Thank you very much for imparting with us your expertise. And again, I know it's a late night. It's a school night as well. <laughs> Shamelessly plug again. Website, Facebook location physical brick and mortar hours of operation i'll start the music you're out the door and you're home before 10 30 hopefully we're at 707 12th street we're open monday through friday 7 a.m to 6 p.m you can find us online at philsproauto.com uh, you can find us on facebook at uh, phil's pro auto 
And uh, if you need to find any of us by email, just uh, stick my name in front of f- at philsproauto.com and Phil, uh, you'll get me. P-H-I-L, P-H-I-L. at philsproauto.com. Mm-hmm. Yep. You are free to leave. Matt, I don't, I don't know where you think you're going. You're staying right there. <laughs> Turn that microphone off. Yes, we're going to let our guest, one of our guests, go now. He has to be up early in the morning to make sure that, again, all of you are getting quality service and the ability to get from point A to point B safely. Philip White, of course, owner of Phil's Pro Auto. Again, think something's wrong with your car? Don't ask a neighbor. Ask an expert. Ask Philip White. Ask our friends over at Phil's Pro Auto. And in the meantime, when we come back, I have a couple questions for Matt Rivette. So, guys, reverse my last commands. Reset bottom of the hour. Are you listening to the Scooter McGee Show? The misery does love company. Stay tuned to News Talk 1310 KFKA. Hmm. Gotta get a better angle. John, what are you doing? I was in an accident yesterday, and my insurance adjuster wanted me to use my smartphone to snap a couple of pictures of the damage. Then I got to send it over to them. He said they'd write me an estimate and have the money in my account today. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How could they possibly write an honest and accurate estimate for pictures? They can't. And why would they? Hi, I'm Mike from Auto Collision Specialists. The insurance companies are at it again. This time, they're using your smartphone to rip you off. I've been in the business of repairing cars most of my life. Even with my 30 years of estimating experience, I can't write an accurate estimate from pictures. When I tell you taking pictures of the damage and sending it to your insurance company is a bad idea, you better believe it. If you've had an accident, insist that someone from the insurance company and the body shop of your choice physically examines your car. Don't let the insurance companies use your smartphone to outsmart you. Auto Collision Specialists, we'll take care of that. When marketing your business or event, you really need something that screams, Look at me! Remember me! Come back to me! With Signs First Main Street Promotions, I assure you, you'll have just that. Did you know promotional products have the highest advertising recall over television, print, and online advertising? 73% of people use a promotional product at least once a week, while 45% use it at least once a day. Visit Signs First Main Street Promotions to see how they can help you get your brand in the hands of more potential customers. That's signsfirstgreeley.com. So you think the Pawn Stars are in Vegas, huh? Have you been to City National Pawn? 3301 West 10th Street in Greeley, and you're the Pawn Star. With great deals on commercial and industrial tools, electronics, smartphones, laptops, and fine jewelry, so many great deals and a constantly changing inventory guarantee you get the best deal in town at City National Pawn. Need quick cash fast? City National Pawn has got you covered there too. Monday through Friday and Saturdays, remember, you're the Pawn Star at City National Pawn, 3301. West 10th Street in Greeley. What may be junk to you just might be another man's treasure. From stamps, sports memorabilia, silverware, or old jewelry, what may be junk to you just might be another man's treasures. Located at 2002 9th Street in Greeley, another man's treasures can take these old items and convert them into cold, hard cash. Located at 2002 9th Street, remember another man's treasure. This Week in Preps Radio. High school football rolls into Week 5, and both our broadcasts are from District 6 Stadium. Thursday evening at 6 p.m., Northridge looks to right the ship against Eagle Valley. Then on Friday, it's rivalry time as Greeley Central clashes with Greeley West. Coverage starts on Friday at 5 p.m. with Football Night in Northern Colorado. Host Tanner Schwint will catch up with both coaches ahead of the big game. If you've missed any high school coverage, you can find it all at 1310kfka.com. 1310 KFK, this is Preps Radio. Matt Rivette started in real estate just in time for the bottom to fall out of the market. And it turns out it was a good time to start. From day one, Matt Rivette had to do it right. Serve the client. Turn for sale into sold. 32 years later, we know market conditions will change. But Matt Rivette's commitment to you won't. This is a good time to get to know Matt Rivette at Pro Realty. List your commercial income or residential property with Matt Rivette. 
Call Matt Rivet at 970-356-1234 or go to ProRealtyHomes.com. The problem with most gyms is, well, they're gyms. Double Diamond CrossFit knows what it takes to get the results you're looking for. CrossFit is high intensity, short workouts designed to improve your core and cardiovascular strength. Double Diamond CrossFit has classes throughout the day with certified coaches. You show up, warm up, and build your better body, all with the support of the CrossFit family. Double Diamond CrossFit on the corner of 59th Avenue and 10th Street in Greeley. Call 970-302-2024. And don't forget to ask how you can get a free week on us. Breaking down the news 31 hours a day. Become one of the Scooter McGee Show minions. Head to ScooterMcGee.com and sign up for free newsletters. Join the chat room, show podcasts, bonus episodes in real time, outside of the box news. The Scooter McGee Show on News Talk 1310 KFKA. Oh, I'm so blaming Matt for that. The following program is intended for mature audiences. How long were we off the air? Uh, 40 seconds. Oh, that long? Right. Well, we'll find out on the delay here, and the thing will beep, and then I'll get in trouble. Uh, welcome back to the show. <laughs> and welcome back, Matt Rivette. Matt Rivette, of course, can be found at Pro Realty, and that's Pro Realty Old Town here in Greeley. But again, servicing Milliken, Johnstown, Loveland, Fort Collins, Platteville, uh, closed recently in Brighton. In 2017, have you closed on a property in Brighton, even though technically that's Adams County? No, but Fort Lupton, close enough. Okay. Okay. The market is where the market is now. We're in the 21s. Mm -hmm. Gold and silver is what it is as I started tonight's show. We did briefly touch two weeks ago on where we think Janet Yellen on the Federal Reserve if they raise rates. And I have a two-part question. Do you think Janet Yellen is even going to still be our head of the Fed come January 1st of 18? Don't know would be the quick answer. Uh, I, Fair I, enough. I don't. She's cut in the same cloth as uh, Bernanke. Bernanke. I, I called him Bernanke. Yeah, okay, but okay, okay. Um, seems to be well-respected. Um, she's befuddled uh, by this lack of inflation. Uh, with a 4% GDP less. And with four, five days, okay, we're going to have two months left. Okay, okay. Well, three, October, November, mm-hmm, December. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. December being the closing month. So do we see, again, is there anything on your economic indicators, radars, newsletters, chatter, I don't care what it's called, that suggests a raise in the rates before the end of the year? There seems to be some rumblings about december they're going to raise it a quarter point but who knows it's not going to be the four times that she had indicated at the start of the year it would be at most three times all right and then my other follow-up was in the discussion we had and i didn't want to tie it in with other our other guest of course mr white owner of phil's pro auto in the discussion you brought up two weeks ago in regarding the number of recent foreclosures on properties that had been am i using the right word assigned in the last three years originated 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 um um by by december with the numbers being what they are is that a long enough time to be able to figure out a trend or how much time are we going to need to take, you know, to look at what these numbers may or may not mean? I, I could give you a temperature reading in December. Um, right now I'm going, hmm, this is this is a little unusual. What, that We agree on that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so I want to keep it on the radar. I don't want to be, oh, my God, the world's on fire and we're all going to die and it's all. Gonna... That's not where I'm at on this. 
I'm just, again, this is clearly something, though, we do need to watch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay? Nobody's hitting a panic button. Not me. Well, nobody. Sure, sure. And in theory, is it something I should bring up with you at each time you're on, or is it, no, let's look at it again in December? I like that idea. No, or again, is it something once a month? Or again, no, by the end of December, you know what? We're going to, yes, we're either going to see it trending. No, it was a spike. No, it's still going on. And no, we still don't know what it is. Right now, the latter. I I, I don't know what to make out of it. Okay. Now, we obviously went one minute over. I'm going to let you go one more minute over and tease of any for October because technically according to my clock you got all three including Halloween, Tuesday, Halloween okay okay so any guess for October Joe Six Pack that you'd like to plug because you, you, I stopped you like, hey two weeks from now we've got so if you'd like to now you may how about I will just entice the audience by saying I've got one of the, uh, in my opinion, most respected and longevity-wise restaurant tours in Weld County. Um, that's going to be difficult to beat with our previous guest and the owner of the Chop House. I'm just saying. Both are well And the initials are not KM, are they? No. Okay. The last name initial isn't M, is it? No. Good. Okay. You're free to go. Thank you. (laughs) Start running this place like a jail cell. All right, guys, on the other end, let's reset. Uh, Start with shallow moments, go to on this day, go to commercial break, and when we come back, headlines 927-17 on the Quantum News Network production of the Scooter McGee Show. Become a friend of Scooter McGee or like the Scooter McGee Show page. More of the Scooter McGee Show in a moment. 1310 KFKA's first alert weather, powered by Denver 7. The Northern Colorado forecast.